to talk just for a moment about the images that we're using here and it's important to respect the copyright and the ownership of these images that we're using. There are plenty of sites where you can purchase line art, you can draw your own stuff. I've done that before as well, both of those options. For the testing we're doing here, I'm using Vecteasy, so these are free images to use as long as you give attribution to the site. So we will do that at the end of the video. Once you've decided on an image that you want to use, either from a site that you've purchased from or from a screen capture or even your own drawings that you've scanned in, they need to be converted into a vector format that you can use on the CNC. Because the images even here, when you download them, they're not in a vector format. They're usually in a visual format. So let me show you the best way or a way that I use to convert it to a center line. CNC cuttable vector format. There are a lot of software packages that are very powerful that you can do your own editing and your own converting to make the image that you've purchased or screen captured or drawn and scanned in yourself into a vector image. But for kind of quick playing around testing with the CNC stuff, Rapid Resizer works really well. You don't need to download it. I think it's been around for a decade or more. And it's really this simple. You upload the image that you've purchased or drawn or screen captured. You have two adjustments here. You can do an outline or a center line. And we're doing the center line for this. And you've got your smoother or sharper adjustment line. And that's really it. <laughs> then you choose your download preference. In this case we're doing an SVG and we download it and then we can move it into our CNC software and go from there. I wanted to show the way this looks in the CNC software and a lot of folks that have played around with this stuff this is nothing new but for those that are into that are starting to get into screen captures and bitmap conversions this might show a little more detail of what's going on. So this is the image here that we ran through Rapid Resizer and if we zoom in you can see that the line stays it just stays a line as far as we go in. We could make it as big as we wanted or smaller as small as we wanted and it would still be a line. If we go over to this image here this was directly downloaded from the Vecteasy site so this has not been run through anything to convert it to a vector format. And if we zoom in, you can see how blurry the line gets. And it just turns into a smudge. The farther in you go. So it needs to be converted to a vector format or the CNC won't know what to do. It just it simply won't work. You won't be able to do a toolpath for it. A lot of CNC programs have something called a bitmap trace and that is a tool that you can use periodically or you can use if there's a particular look that you want. But in this case if we're just looking for a center line it really won't work very well. So if we come up here to our bitmap trace tool and then we've done our bitmap trace you can see that there are two lines here so it traced the line but it put a line on either side so this is our image that we downloaded and this is now the vectorized image let's move this off here so we can see it kind of a little bit better too so again this is our downloaded image and this is our bitmap trace image and if you're trying to make a pocket this can be tool that you can use. Very often it gets very muddy if you're trying to do something clean, if you're trying to laser engrave, it's got all this extra stuff in here. And you can go through and break this apart and delete the lines that you don't want. 
but it's kind of messy. It doesn't work real well, especially for the stuff that we're working on here. So in this case, we've got our clean vector image here from Rapid Resizer, and now we can get going on the CNC machine. Just showing the quick drop in. So we've got our mount here. And we're in. And then we just tighten up our little wrench here. And we're not going anywhere. For our hand fountain pen drawing, go to cycle start. And normally the router would be winding up, or the spindle, depending on what cutter you're using. But for our pen, we're just kind of pausing here for a moment.
Just some of the really cool stuff you can do with a pen plotter and a CNC.